Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to prove that if A is congruent to B mod M, then A to the power of N is congruent to B to the power of N mod M, where N is an element of the positive integers. Now we are going to do this using mathematical induction. The first step is the basis. So you have to prove that the general statement is true for n is equal to 1. So when a to the power of n is congruent to b to the power of n mod m, what happens when n is equal to 1? Well, you get a is congruent to b mod m, which is what we've started with, because given that a is congruent to b mod m, a to the power of n is congruent to b to the power of n mod m. So that's the first step out of the way, and we've shown that the basis is true for n is equal to 1. Now the next step here is the assumption. So you have to assume that the general statement is true for n is equal to k. So we say that a to the power of k is congruent to b to the power of k mod m. Now the next stage of this proof is the hardest phase because we have to show that the general statement is then true for n is equal to k plus 1. And this is called the inductive phase. Now if a is congruent to b mod m, this means that m divides a minus b. So what we get is pm is equal to a minus b. Forget the p there because I've made a mistake, where p is an element of the integers. This is going to imply that a is equal to pm plus b. Now we've also assumed that a to the power of k is congruent to b to the power of k mod m. This is going to imply that m divides a to the power of k minus b to the power of k. So we have Qm is equal to a to the power of k minus b to the power of k, where q is an element of the integers. As a result, this implies that a to the power of k is equal to qm plus b to the power of k. So we've established that a to the power of k is equal to qm plus b to the power of k. This means that a to the power of k plus 1 is going to be equal to a q m plus a times b to the power of k. If we simplify this, we get a to the power of k plus 1 is equal to a times q m plus b to the power of k. However, here's the cool part. a is equal to p m plus b. This is going to imply that a to the power of k plus 1 is actually pm plus b times qm plus b to the power of k. If we expand and follow the logic over here all the way through, we get a to the power of k plus 1 minus b to the power of k plus 1 is equal to pqm plus b pb to the power of k plus bq times m. So because of this equation over here, we can say that m divides a to the power of k plus 1 minus b to the power of k plus 1. And this is true because pqm plus p times b to the power of k plus bq is going to be an element of the integers. This is because for the set of integers, addition, subtraction, and multiplication are closed. So therefore, the general statement is true for n is equal to k plus 1. We also say, if the general statement is true for n is equal to k, then it is shown to be true for n is equal to k plus 1. As the result is true for n is equal to 1, it is now also true for all n is greater than or equal to 1 and n is an element of the positive integers
by mathematical induction. If you have any questions related to this proof, leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to respond as soon as I can. For more maths content, as always, visit mathematics.proofs on Instagram. Thanks for watching this video and see you next time.